my channel today. Today's video we are going to be doing a first impressions and makeup tutorial which is why my face is basically bare right now. I just have foundation on um, but you guys seem to really love these so I'm excited to keep doing them and I have a lot of new products to test out which I'm really excited for but before we begin the video if you guys are brand new to my channel hello welcome my name is Madison feel free to hit that subscribe button also hit the little bell as well and if you turn on that notification bell make sure to hashtag a notification squad in the comments down below below for a shout out and today's shout out goes to disabled beauty thank you so much for having the notifications turned on and yeah now let's go ahead and get into this first impressions trying new makeup all right, so I already have my foundation done and also my eyebrows But first off, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up some hairs down below here because you know how you get those random brow hairs that just pop out of anywhere, but I'm gonna use my Bukeshi, um Tweezers right here. They're actually sponsoring this video. So thank you so much to Bugeshi. But basically you guys these tweezers are really really good I don't know about you guys, but I know for me It's really hard to find like a really good pair of tweezers like so hard to find a good pair of tweezers and these ones I've been in love with I've been using these now for like a month month and a half I love how it's perfectly angled and also it makes it really easy to get those little hairs that just like pop up right here and They're just like so tiny and fine and what I also like about the angle of it It keeps me from not accidentally like tweezing my skin which hurts so bad hurts so bad And I'm one if I find a good pair of tweezers I do not want to let them go like they go everywhere with me these go in my backpack They go with me whenever I'm getting ready like I have them everywhere I go I just love these. They're awesome. I'm also gonna be showing you guys their eyelash curler later on in the video, but these I'm just like obsessed with right now. They make it so easy to get those little hairs that just pop up out of nowhere. All right, so for an eyeshadow look today, I'm gonna be kind of using a mix of palettes because I have so many new palettes here that I really wanna use. So I have the Urban Decay Jean Michael Basquiat. I don't know how to say that, but it's this little guy right here. This has been out for some time, but I have yet to use it. I'm really excited. So I have this one. I also have the colorful one, which I don't know if I'm gonna go into because I wanna really also use this Marvelous Mauves from Dosa Colors that they sent over. And then I also wanna take one of these Jouer Skinny Dips and place it on the lid. So I think I'm gonna go for more of a purpley look because I have this palette I wanna use. But yeah, I have quite a bit, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. All right, so now that I have you guys zoomed in, I'm gonna go into Enigma, which is just this kind of matte shade. And I'm just going to set my eyelids with this. I'm gonna use it on the fluffy brush so that way I don't have too much product. And I'm just going to lightly dust this over my lids. So that way it's gonna be easier to do blending for other eyeshadows. All right, so next up for my transition shade, I'm gonna go into Levitation, and this is that kind of, you know, really kind of um, light brown transition shade. Yeah, this little guy right there. And I'm just gonna place this in my crease, like in my real crease and not the flap like I was been doing for my entire life. So happy that Bailey taught me that little trick because I have loved it. It looks makes my eyes look so much more open and just awake. Like I haven't even wanna been wearing eyeliner now too, which is crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the Dose of Colors palette and I'm gonna go with this middle mauve shade right here. And I'm gonna place this just a little bit lower than that trans, oh my God, this is pigmented. Whoa. Super pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful with this. Um, I'm gonna place it just a little bit lower than where I put that transition shade, so that way we don't lose that shade on the lid or in the crease. Yeah. So we're gonna go into Bikini. It's like a nice pinky champagne shade. I'm gonna go in with a cream brush. I have a feeling these are actually gonna work better with your finger <laughs> but it's gonna be really it'll be like so hard to get my finger to work with this stuff because when you have nails it's so hard but let's just try it with a brush I don't think this is gonna work though yeah this is like so bad it's like loose glitter and it's very splotchy with a brush that's not gonna work I'm gonna have to use a finger how am I gonna do this all right so I'm putting my finger in it and I'm just gonna press it onto the lid 
Oh my God, how am I supposed to use a shadow? It's not even working with my finger. It looks pretty on camera, but it's like not how it should look. It should look way more pigmented. So I don't know about this one. So I'm gonna use a Max Fix Plus. Drench that a little bit in there. Now we're gonna go back into that foiled shade with that Max Fix Plus. Maybe this will keep the fallout to a minimum. I'm gonna put translucent powder and I'm just gonna pack it down there. So that way it'll be easy to sweep away any fallout. All right, so it looks really pretty on camera. It looks pretty on the lid. It's actually kind of like, not like boom, bunch of sparkle everywhere. It's a little bit sparse. I don't know, it's, it's pretty, but it's, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this palette at all. Like the shimmers are just too hard to work with, way too hard to work with. And there's so much fallout. It's like loose glitter. It's not even packed well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into a darker shade in the Marvelous Mauve's palette. I'm gonna go into this one right here, which is called, ooh, I like the way that they did this. It's called Spaced Out. They have it like perfectly. So if you're pointing to that one, you know what it is. Oh, I love it when they do it perfectly that way but um yeah so it's called just put my finger in it but it's called spaced out it's a little bit more of a deeper color I'm actually gonna take more of a tapered blending brush so I get a little bit better application and we're just going to deepen up that crease and outer part of the eye all right, so I did my liner and now I wanna use these pretty vulgar lash primer and mascara. So this one right here is down below. This is the lash primer. Look how pretty the packaging is. I love the little birdie, it's like a bird cage. Really cute. And then the rose gold one is their mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the primer first. I'm only gonna do this on my top lashes because we still wanna add some color in down below. All right, so I did that lash primer on that eye. It's very, very wet. That's all I know so far, very wet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go in automatically just with the mascara to try it out. The mascara wand looks like this, it's curved. Ugh, not a fan. I don't know if it was that lash primer. I'm gonna try just the mascara on the other side to see if it's both of them, but that is just made them clump. All right, so synopsis of it is that I like it a lot better without the primer. The primer made it clump up really, really bad on this eye, like not a fan. Um, this eye wasn't as bad with the clumping, but it still is not my favorite type of mascara. I like the ones that have the more separated wands, kind of like the Benefit Roller Lash, where they help kind of separate the lashes and not let them get clumpy. I'm actually gonna run this through to see if it will help. I don't think it's gonna help. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lash line real quick. So we're gonna go into Levitation, which is that transition shade that we use, and I'm gonna put this on that lower lash line. All right, so next I'm gonna go into the middle mauve shade, which is called Wishy Washy, right here. I'm gonna focus this more on the outer part of the bottom lash line. And now taking a flat definer brush, we're gonna go into that darkest mauve shade at the very end of that palette. And I'm gonna keep this really close to that outer part. I'm gonna use my Benefit Roller Lash on my bottom lashes because I just see the other one just going so bad on little lashes. Oh, I don't see it working. <laughs> All right, so the eyes are done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my bronzos. And I'm gonna use this new Tarte palette that they just sent. It's called Clay Play. Looks like this. Also, it would've been really fun to do an eye look with this. You know what, I think I might do an eye look with it afterwards because I always wash my face off before I go out and do a little bit more natural makeup. But we're gonna go ahead and use the bronzer and we're gonna test it out. So I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D brush and we're gonna go to Desert because I like it's a little bit more cool tone and this smells really good. It smells like chocolate, you guys. It smells really, really good. So let's test this out and see how this looks on the skin. Oh, that is pigmented. I'm gonna use the other side to blend it out a bit because it's super pigmented. I would almost recommend using like a duo fiber brush, which is like this with um, that bronzer because these are pigmented. Oh, light hand, light hand people. 
All right, so now I'm gonna go into the little blush and highlighter, like little cheek palette from Urban Decay that they came out with. And I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use NoHo. This is a plum shade and it has a little bit of a sheen to it for blush. Gotta use a light hand with this one, you guys, because I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty pigmented. And I'm just gonna slowly add it on. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the new Skinny Dip from Jouer, and I'm gonna use that as my highlighter today. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like so pigmented. I love their highlighters. I have to say though that I like Citrine, or Citrine, however you say it, better because I like that type of shade of highlighter on my skin tone because I'm so fair. This one I think would look really pretty if you had a nice tan. I think it would look gorgeous on the skin. All right, so before we get into the lips, I want to go back to my eyes real quick. I'm gonna use my Bugeshi Eyelash Curler. I really like this. I like it for everyday use. And then doing a light coat of mascara with it, but I'm gonna teach you guys a little hack. And I actually learned this on Instagram through like the public page. I don't even remember what the account was that I saw do this, but it seriously changes that false lash game so much. So if you notice that you have a little bit of space between your false lashes and your real lashes, and they're not really like meshed into like, you know, they're not really integrated well together, but you just take the eyelash curler and then you just press down and you just press down very lightly just to push the real lashes and the fake lashes closer together. And it makes it look like a lot more natural, I feel like. I feel like it's harder to tell if you're wearing falsies or not when you do this trick. But I just lightly press them together. Yeah, because I tend to not get it close enough to my lash line, so this is a really good tip when you don't get that false lash close enough and then you just need to fill in that gap. Do that and it'll make it so much better. But I also love using it just every day because it really curls my lashes really good. Okay, so for lip liner, I'm gonna go ahead and use the J-Cat Holy Addiction Lip Liner in Acorn. Um, I've used this before, it's not new, I just need a lip liner. All right, so next up I'm gonna use the KKW or Kim Kardashian West by Kylie Cosmetics, her little collab that she did with her. Um, I haven't tried these out yet. I'm really excited to try it out. I'm gonna do Kimberly. I'm going more for the nude shade because I feel like it's gonna go best with this look. Let's see how I like this. All right, so there is the lip color. This actually is really, really pretty. It's comfortable, it's not matte. It's more of like a silky satin finish. Actually really, really comfortable, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. I feel like I'm in a workout shirt right here and my hair is up in a ponytail, but I have like such a dramatic look going on. I'm like, I feel like I'm not, like my face is not in tune with my outfit. <laughs> but I really wanted to be comfortable today. But yeah, this is the finished look. So now let's quickly go through my thoughts and reviews on each of these products. All right, so first off, the tweezers. As you guys know, I love them. I love the tweezers. They go everywhere with me. Like, I'm not even joking about that. <laughs> Next up, the Urban Decay palette that I have right here. Um, I don't even know how to properly say this palette, but this palette actually is really nice. Even though I used only these two shades in the very top, they were very creamy, they were pigmented, and they glided on so easily, so I actually really, really like that, and I can't wait to try out the other colors. Next up, we have the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves. Oh my god, so impressed with this palette, you guys. It is so creamy and so pigmented. It is amazing. I want to see if they have other palettes, too, because I was really, really impressed with the formula. And now to this little baby right here from Jouer, the Skinny Dip Palette. I have to say this one is a nope for me. It just got glitter all over my face, so I definitely recommend not wearing foundation or anything on your face first and doing your eyes first because it just was so much fallout. And then plus, I tried with my fingers, I tried with Mac Fix Plus, I tried without Mac Fix Plus, and nothing worked. It just was very kind of patchy and kind of hard to get it on my lids. From me looking at like the viewfinder right now or the monitor, it looks good on camera, but in person, it's just not what I want it to be. So. This was a no-go for me, unfortunately. I was really excited about that, but I just couldn't seem to get it to work. So if you guys have tried it and it works for you, 
Let me know how it works for you in the comments down below because I am just struggling with it. All right, so next up, the lash curler from Bugeshi. I really like this. It really curled my lashes and I really like for an everyday thing, it's just go in there and curl your lashes and then just put in like a nice light coat of mascara and they just look perfect for throughout the day. So yeah, really love this. Next up, we have to go to mascaras and these ones from Pretty Bulgur unfortunately did not work for me. It's a lash primer and the mascara. They just made my lashes way too clumpy, like way too clumpy. It was no bueno. I'm really sad because the packaging is so cute, but the formula is just too thick, I think. So that was a bummer. All right, so now on to bronzer. I really, really like this little palette from Tarte, even though I just used that one right there, but the formula of these are very, very creamy, easy to blend, not patchy. I really, really enjoyed it, and it smells so good. And this would be just like a perfect, like, this would just be a perfect to-go palette too because I love how neutral the shades are, but then they also have some deeper ones that you can deep up for a nighttime. But I just, I really like how neutral the shades are on this one. So I'm definitely gonna be using this one later today when I do a more natural look. Cause Joel and I are gonna go to dinner and I'm like, I need to just take off this glitter. <laughs> All right, so now into this one from Urban Decay. This one was actually really nice too. I really liked the NoHo blush. I was a little worried about it because I thought it was gonna be a little bit too bold, but no, it went beautifully on the skin and looks absolutely gorgeous. I also really wanna try this highlight right here, you guys. This highlight is so pretty. Oh my gosh, oh yeah. I love that shade right there. That's a gorgeous shade. So I really wanna try out that highlight too, but so far that blush was gorgeous and didn't go on patchy. And then next up we have Skinny Dip from Jouer. I think this is another really gorgeous highlighter. I love her highlighters, you guys. They're so stunning. This one just isn't the best shade for me because I am so fair. If I have a self tan on, this is going to be my go-to. But since I'm so fair, you can see how it's a little bit darker on my cheeks. I would much rather prefer a champagne shade to this kind of more golden shade, but I think it will look gorgeous on a medium to deeper skin tones. So, and plus the formula is stunning. All right, so last but not least, we have the Kim Kardashian Cream Liquid Lipstick. This is really comfortable. I really like the way that it feels on my lips and I love the nude that it has. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is something that I would totally use for every day. I do notice that it's kind of sticking to dry parts on my lips, but I didn't exfoliate before, so that's like my bad. Um, but other than that, I think it's stunning and I think it's really, really comfortable. I can't wait to try out the other shades. All right, so those were all my first impression reviews on these products. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And again, thank you so much to Bugeshi for sponsoring this video. And yeah, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And also leave a comment down below what you wanna see reviewed next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.